We catch up with actress Marlene Forte on landing a recurring role on one of the hottest shows on TV. Marlene, it's been a while and you've got some exciting things you're doing. So tell us about your new, not new role. You were the mom in Knives Out. I am the mom in Knives Out. In, in the first one, where in I the movie. Anna de Arma's mother. So I play a lot of moms in my throughout my careers, weeping over one dead thing or another. But the moms that are playing now um, aren't not that I'm a big pivotal part of it, but the mom, the person whose mom I'm playing is a more pivotal part of it. So I feel like, and even back then, I always I'm very optimistic. I'm always like, no, we're moving forward, we're moving forward. You know, I don't even think we've arrived yet, even though they've taken away all our. I don't know what whatever hands up that they think they've given us, but um, we've we've found our way. We've we've stuck it out and we're we stuck it through and we're still here and we're still relevant and we're getting more relevant. You are on one of the hottest shows with one of the hottest guys around. Yes, yes. I mean, everybody's and like charming that. and and nice to look at and fun to work with and funny and yes. <laughs> so tell me about that role. Tell me about how, uh, what it is, what's your character about, and how'd you land it, and just the experience. So last season, it's I will tell the story because I think it's a, a good after story to tell. I auditioned for two different parts um, on that season, in that season, and I got the third one. So the first one was this big recurring part that I was supposed to bid, and if, I don't want to give anything away, but it was the main judge in the first season. And then I auditioned for another judge, it was supposed to be recurring, cut to, they offered me a one day guest. And my agents didn't want me to do it. They were like, you know, you just auditioned, you can't do it, blah, blah, blah. And I really liked Judge Medina. And I was like, I want to play this judge and I'm going to do it. So I did it. I met Miguel. Sometimes you have to go with your gut. Gut. I was like, every role that these people have bought to me is fantastic. I am, they're offering it to me. Que carajo I said for a day. Yes. Yeah. Right? I had a blast and it went away. And this November, I get a call and my agent says, they want to bring Teresa Medina back. I was like, what? And they're going to offer, you're going to be the main judge this year. They're offering you seven out of 10. Oh my God. So this isn't just a possible recurring. This was like, this is how many you're going to do. Here. In court, before you can win, you got to believe you can win. But what if you don't? Huh. Then you better fake it till you make it. And you're having fun with um, the star. What is his story? Because all of a sudden this hunk and this wonderful actor he's from just Mexico. popped up. And it's he's like, from Mexico. Was all like, oh my God, he's wonderful. This show is wonderful. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about his background. Did you get to talk to him? Did yeah, you- he's fantastic. He lives between here and LA. He's from Mexico. He's mm-hmm. just like many, many Mexican, Kuno Becker, you know, many, uh, who I also played mother to on Dallas. You know, I, many young Mexican, they're not so young anymore, and neither am I, <laughs> but they come here to try to make it and uh he booked this netflix thing and the funny thing is that you know i remember when i when we first were involved with it and it was out they were like oh yeah the lincoln lawyer that's like matthew mcconaughey right and i'm like oh yeah yeah but you know he's supposed to be latin and you know and and uh and then it really didn't get a lot of advertising no i didn't remember seeing a lot of advertising or anything it was just him he's incredibly charming he's incredibly easy in front of the camera um i'm sure he did a lot of telenovelas i honestly don't know because i don't watch spanish tv i'm sure if i show my mother my mother will get very excited um but she doesn't watch english tv so yeah (laughs) um and tell me about the role i mean what is it what do you think it was about uh Judge Medina. You said it was Medina, right? Yeah, I think it's really well written. I think the whole series is really well written. I think that that's key because we know the talent has always been there. But when Latino talent only had the opportunity to say one, you know, phrase here and one word there, how do you build, how does anyone really get to see your talent if it's not written? 
It's not written. It has to start with the writing. It has to start in the writing room. It has to start in the writer's group. That's why it's important for us to have writers. It has to start in the producing and showrunners, you know. And I'll tell you, I know I've been doing this long enough where I actually do see a very big difference when I get onto a set and I see women behind the set, um, people of color behind the set. Um, and uh, it's nice. What is that one role? that you still haven't played that you want to play on film? Because I know you've played so many more roles on stage, but on film, what is that one role that you really want to play? I want, it's, well, in front of the camera, I'll put it, because film, I love films, and that's the beauty of film that I think that I get to play. Like in Hypochondriac, I get to play a really mentally ill person. I just worked with another friend of mine where I played a woman with dementia. You can't live here anymore. That'll be coming out. So I, those things are fun, but in TV, my dream job, my dream, dream, dream job is to have a, well, now it's four camera, I was going to say three camera, four camera, half hour sitcom, because you get, you get the cameras, you get the theater, you get the live audience, of course, pre-pandemic, to me, and it's Monday through Friday, it's like, if I was going to retire or land retire somewhere, that would be my ideal job. Um, they put or, it out in the... Yeah, and, and I don't care if I'm playing the mother or the sister or Schneider, you know, I, I don't really, um, but I think for me that's, you know, do some more comedy, do, you know, just, again, I have 30 years of yes. and Latinos, all Latinas, you know, we're, hey. we're either like, oh yeah, papito, en vaca, or we're like, oh, yeah, mi amigo, you know, and I just... I want to have fun. I want to be bright like we are. I want to dance and I want to make you fun. You could have been, You. I mean, there's so many sitcoms that I, I know that you would have been great. I, I have not seen you do comedy. I don't do much of it. There. I don't do much of you it. You want to explore that, right? I want to explore that. Thank you. For what? Oh, there's no more of that? Could you make me a cup? No, I am not your maid. I am her nanny. <laughs> but let me ask you a question. Watching the Oscars this year, it was so bittersweet for I me. I know what you're saying. Because it's, I was so happy for the Asian community that had their moment. I mean, this they took the whole, the, the all of the top prices. Um, what, when is it, when do you feel it's going to be our turn? What well, needs I think, to be in place for it to be our turn? I think because in Chaustigi has won several, they think that that is it. But that's European. I mean, homegrown Latinos from America. I, I don't know. I think I think it's 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 we need to speak up a lot more in a nice way. But yeah. speak, we need to say, well, when, when do we get? You know, when are we going to get those kinds of movies? We can't get nominated if we don't have the vehicle to get nominated for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's coming. I feel it's coming, but it is. I, I do think we need to be more vocal, you know, yeah. not as vocal as, uh, you know, like what's his name? Um, uh, Will Smith. <laughs> no, I don't think we need to slap anybody in the face, but <laughs> we can be a little bit more. And, you know, I tell my daughter that too. My daughter's a young Latina producer now, you know, and I, oh. and she knows it cause she's dealing with yeah. it. And she's like, mom, you know, it, it, I'm still the minority in the room and I, you know, still don't get paid like the, my, my male opponent, you know, and yet, you know, I'm, we, we have to be in the room. I have yeah. to be in the room. So you and have, we have to speak up, even if they think that we're just like loud mouths. Well, Let's that's what up. I tell her. I said, you got nothing to lose. And she, and she does. And she goes, I, I'm not disrespectful or rude, but I told them that I said, I'm very grateful for this, whatever, but we're not doing enough of this. We're not. And, yeah. he, and even in the projects now she does, um, she's doing documentaries, but even in the documents, the docs, she will get in there and be like, no, we, we can't take this out because this we're representing right. this community. And we, you know, and she, She's, she's like, even though I want to send them, you know, I'm like, I got to be in the room. I got to be in the room and I got to play the game. And that's that's how we do it. We just have to be in the room. Where we can watch you on uh, Lincoln Lawyer and when? 
Lincoln Lawyer will be on Netflix, and of course, we just finished. You know, Netflix has to finish and do. I'm still doing ADR. I'll do ADR next week. We probably won't drop till the fall. We don't have any though idea when that's happening, or at least I don't. Where are you going? I think better on the road. It's good to see you. Thank you, honey. Gracias. Un beso. What an amazing show today with all our super powerful voices. A big shout out and thank you to them from the bottom of our Trend Talk hearts. And we would like for you to be a superhero and follow us at the Trend Talk show on social media. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell them that we have the super guests here and we will keep you in the know of what's coming up in our community. And also remember, if it's trending, we're, we're talking. talking.